Uh, I'm Rosemary Trajano, but people call me Rose for short, and I am from the Philippine Alliance of Human Rights Advocates uh, in the Philippines. I did not intend to be an activist. I am a nurse by education, and fortunately, the dean of our school is very progressive. She was an activist, and uh, before I knew it, we were actually uh, working in communities, in the press communities. So immediately after graduation, I started working in the mountains as community health nurse. And then uh, everything follows. What motivated me to work for human rights is really the situation. In, mid in 1986, uh, that was post-martial law era, very immediate after martial law. And there were many uh, victims of human rights violations. I worked then with the medical action group, and so I was exposed with torture victims. There are still assassinations during the times of uh, during the time of political activists. There were uh, lots of internal refugees or displaced persons because the peace process and democratization of the Philippines has not yet been fully restored yet. The Philippine Alliance of Human Rights Advocates was established in 1986, immediately after the fall of uh, President Marcos, after martial law. So about 100 organizations came together to form this alliance of human rights defenders to have a stronger voice and united voice for human rights. I learned that I was in the watch list of the military and of the and people of interest list by the police mm -hmm. a few months ago. Um, I think all administrations actually have order of battles or watch list, but uh, this is quite difficult for us right now uh, because we, uh, we can be, uh, we will have security problems or protection issues anytime. But I would uh, also say that I, uh, I can consider myself fortunate because I am at the, I am a national figure as an NGO. Our, our alliance is at the national level and we're actually engaging with the government agencies. The police and the military knows me, so I could be spared but those human rights defenders at the ground, in the fields, are more at risk and would have more uh, security issues than us. Uh, we are expecting the international community, including, of course, the United Nations and our inter, uh, international NGOs who have been uh, very uh, supportive of us, to continue their pressure uh, to our government to ensure that human rights defenders are protected in the Philippines. Uh, I think you should continue and pursue a statements that would um, make our president and our government realize that lawyers, journalists, church people, even our NHRI should not be intimidated uh, because they are doing uh, service to the people. In fact, this Human rights, the human rights community, the HR defenders, are supportive of uh, actions that would improve the lives of our Filipino people.